Hello guys, how you doing? This is your friend Alex and today I'm going to show you how to update your old MacBook Air. I have a MacBook Air 13 inches 2014 running OS 10.9.5. This is Mavericks guys. This is an operating system from 10 years ago. Let's do something really quick. Software update. And look at this, no updates available. I believe that a lot of people are using this computer still using Mac OS Maverick. Guess what guys, you can definitely update this computer. How can you know what Mac OS can you install on this computer? If you go to feature, you're going to see Mac OS Sonoma and you're going to get excited thinking that you can install Sonoma, right? Get we could not complete your purchase. This version of macOS 14.2 cannot be installed on this computer. And then a lot of people will say, oh, okay, so we cannot install the latest macOS. So that's it. I'm going to keep using Maverick. But you are wrong, guys. You can install a newer macOS to this computer. And I'm going to show you what macOS are you going to be able to install. First of all, guys, this is what I want you to do. I want you to open your browser, okay, and put uh, Apple warranty. Apple warranty check. Look at this, Safari can open this page. This is the other thing, guys. For some reason, Safari doesn't run well on this computer. So you're gonna download Chrome. So type Chrome and you're gonna download it for this macOS Mavericks. Look at this, click here. And then you're gonna install downloading. Um, what? We have a lot of errors, but still, you're gonna be able to download Chrome. Safari on this computer is the worst. So you need to download Chrome. That's it. You're gonna install Chrome on your computer and you're gonna drag it to the application folder. That's how you install an application on the Mac. That's it. Then you're gonna close this. You're gonna eject this. You're gonna close Safari. You're gonna go to your application and click Chrome. Click open. Okay, so here guys, I want you to search for Apple warranty check, Apple warranty check. But for some reason, it doesn't want to run here. All right, guys, this is a 10 year old Mac OS. So a lot of stuff are not going to work like this. Go to the Apple, go to about this Mac, click on more info and uh, click on system report. From here, guys, check this model identifier. I want you to copy and search that. This is MacBook Air 6.2. Okay, so Google that. What year is the uh, Air 6.2? This one. Look at this. This is a MacBook 13 inches MacBook Air early 2014. Okay, so now we know that this MacBook Air is from early 2014. The second step that you're going to do is you're going to search for Mac OS compatibility. And the first result, guys, is the one we need eshops.maxsales.com. So here, look for your MacBook Air and look for your model, okay? MacBook Air, where is that? MacBook Air, and we find out that this is the early 2014, okay? So look for the early 2014 right here, 13 inch early 2014. And look at the model identifier, MacBook Air 6.2. So this is your computer 100%. Now look at this. We are here, guys, Mavericks. The computer start with macOS Maverick. We can go to Yosemite. We can go to El Capitan. We can go to Sierra. We can go to High Sierra. We can go to Mojave. We can go to Catalina. And we can go up to Big Sur. So look how many operating systems can we jump, guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can jump seven macOS upgrades, guys. And Apple doesn't want us to know that. Why? Because when we go to the Apple Store, and we click on updates, it says checking for updates, no updates available. So you're gonna think that you can only run macOS Maverick on this computer because Apple doesn't show you a way to upgrade, right? The worst part guys is that even if you look for, let's say macOS Big Sur, Apple is not gonna give you the link to download it from here. The only one you can download, I think is macOS Ventura. Let me see, Ventura. Yeah, Ventura you can install or let's say Monterey, Monterey. No, not even Monterey, guys. You can install Ventura. I mean, you can see it on the Apple Store, Ventura and of course uh, Sonoma. You can see Sonoma, but you cannot see it like this. You cannot see Big Sur like this. I don't know why Apple is hiding Big Sur from this Apple Store. Now that you know that you can go from Mavericks to Big Sur, you're just going to do a Google search like this. Download. But before that, guys, a lot of people are telling me, 
When I search like this, it doesn't work. Why? Because they are using Safari. If I open Safari and I put download Big Sur, look what's gonna happen, right? I'm gonna find the web And then I'm going to click here and nothing's going to happen. I did a similar video before and people are telling me when I try to download it, nothing happens. Yes, because you're using Safari and Safari on this Mac OS sucks. You cannot do anything. Okay. So that's why we're going to close Safari. That's why we install Chrome. So you can search like download Big Sur. You click on the same website. And this is supposed to open the Mac store. Let's see. Yes, open Mac store, open Mac store. And this is the contradiction, guys. I'm opening Mac Big Surf on the App Store. So why, when I search it on the App Store search, it didn't show me this? Why I have to go to Google to find it? As Apple, you know, I don't know. And then we're just gonna get it. Okay, so this is the problem, guys. They're asking us to sign in with an Apple ID, okay? That's the thing that I have to find out. You need to be signed into the App Store in order to get it. So now we are downloading it. Less than a minute. It's 12.58 gigabytes. So this is going to take a while. Guys, I forgot to tell you, before doing this, please make a full backup of your computer using Time Machine or whatever backup method that you have. Apple says that this is not going to delete anything, but just in case, please do a full backup of your computer before doing this. All right. So now we're going to click continue and let's see if this is going to allow me to install Big Sur. I mean, that would be crazy, right? Agree. Macintosh HD. Continue. Put your password and it says it's going to download it. Guys, I did have a little problem trying to log into the Apple Store. Looks like if you have an Apple ID with two-step verification, you might have problems because this is Mavericks, a 10-year-old Mac OS. But I was able to log in using an Apple ID without the two-step verification. But if you only have an Apple ID with two-step verification, you need to uh, turn on the computer in safe mode. How can you do that? You're going to click restart the computer. And before restarting, you're going to click and hold the shift button. Click and hold it until you see the login screen again. And you should see here save mode or something. I didn't do it like that because it was going to take longer. But um, I'm just telling you guys what happened to me. So we're going to wait, guys, until we finish downloading Mac OS Big Sur. Again, it's 12 gigs. It's going to take a while, guys. Okay, so finally... We are ready to install this after a couple of hours of downloading the Mac OS Big Sur, which was 12 gigabytes. Now we are ready to install. I'm going to click restart. It says about 29 minutes remaining, but this usually takes longer and there are several restarts. So you have to be patient. Okay, guys, after four times that the computer reboot, I can see this. Looks like we are closer to install Big Sur. Continue, 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 continue. And it looks like we have Big Sur, guys. Look at this. This we don't need at all. And we have Big Sur. Look. Beautiful. Let's check this computer, all right? Mac OS Big Sur, version 11.7.10. And now we can do this. We can check the serial. We can open Safari. I hope we have a good Safari now. A lot of people they don't want to update to the latest macOS version compatible with their computer because they say that it's going to slow down the computer. I really don't think so, guys. I think that as long as you can support it, you should go to the latest macOS version. All right, so this is the page that I wanted to show you before, but on Mavericks, you cannot see this page. Now on Big Sur, you can see it. So basically here, you're going to just paste the serial number. You're going to type these codes. I think it's case sensitive. And here you're going to have your computer model. So in my case, it's a MacBook Air 13 inch early 2014. We are not going to be able to go higher than this unless we install something called the Open Core Legacy Patcher that will allow us to go up to Sonoma. But I don't know, guys, I don't like it that much. Early 2014, Big Sur, and we used to be here, guys. We used to be Mavericks, so we jump one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Mac OS. So I just hope that somebody that it was running Mavericks on this computer, it could run uh, Big Sur now. Please let me know in the comments if you were running Mavericks or you know a lot of people are running High Sierra, but you know you can be running Mavericks, Yosemite, El Capitan. 
Sierra, High Sierra, even Mojave and Catalina, you know? And this is the other thing, guys. If you don't, for some reason, you don't want to install Big Sur, you can install any of this Mac OS operating system. The only thing you need to do is you need to search it on, let's say you want to install Mojave for some reason. Maybe you have a software that only runs on Mojave, right? So you're going to search for download Mojave. And Apple is going to open, and you're going to be able to download Mojave. It's opening on the Mac Store. Look, right there, Get. Okay, so just in case, guys, a lot of people has like Pro Tools, old software that it doesn't run on, on new Mac OSs and or oh, they have a software that only runs on a specific Mac OS. So this is your chance to install whatever Mac OS you need. It took a lot of hours. It's 4.38. I think I started in the morning, guys. But this computer restarted like four times, you know, before finish installing everything. So it's going to take a while, but you know, it's possible. If you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. That's the best way you can support my channel so I can continue doing videos for you. Thank you so much, and I'll see you on my next video. Take care. Bye.